It's Wednesday, June 25th. Your weather headlines for your weather on demand. Patchy fog, low clouds, and some spotty light rain, some drizzle on tap. We'll see slow clearing as Canadian high pressure tries to carve out clearing skies. It's kind of slow going, and that high pressure ridge kind of cools us off, too. It feels like somebody turned on the AC and left it on in some of these cooler places. Look at lots. It's 44 there, 10 degrees warmer in places like Escanaba. 54 and it's even warmer still near that Wisconsin line. So kind of a cool start for us at or just below average. Actually, you can see some moisture working in near that Wisconsin line. Some rain shower activity may be sneaking in over there towards Ironwood and uh, some of those far western counties. As we span out, you can see not a whole lot of moisture left, but there has been some instability with this little wake low on the uh, backside of this deeper low pressure system. Much of that deepest moisture now working off towards those eastern Great Lakes and parts of New England as this uh, trough axis begins to swing its way into the eastern Great Lakes. High pressure eventually builds in. You can see those clear skies uh, associated with that stable high pressure over parts of Canada and watch what happens. Our forecast model one to keep the cloud cover in, but uh, it does peel that moisture away. You can see around our lunchtime still looks mainly cloudy, but as we work through the rest of the afternoon, we clear that clutter out of here and we'll see increasing sunshine, especially towards this evening. We continue our clearing trend overnight. Looks like a mainly sunny start to our day Thursday. Kind of on the cool side and some of the models wanting to sneak a raindrop in. I think we'll manage to dry forecast into our Thursday. Friday as high pressure starts to fade to the uh, east. We eventually see deeper moisture on the approach. We could have to deal with maybe a stray rain shower or thunder shower into our Friday afternoon, especially over the western counties as that increasing southerly flow brings more moisture in starts to feel kind of on the muggy side by the weekend. So here we go for today. We have this north to northeast flow that keeps us cool, especially along the shorelines. And as we work through the rest of this morning, rain shower chance is just about out of here. Best chance for maybe a stray raindrop will be near that Wisconsin line. And as you can see, we're struggling temperature wise to get out of the mid and upper 50s, especially near Lake Superior. A little warmer as we look further south and inland. We'll top out through the upper 60s to around 70 in some of the warmer spots. Your marine forecast for Lake Superior. Well, it's mainly cloudy with some morning fog and then we clear things out. Maybe a stray morning raindrop north to northeast winds and uh, w uh, waves eventually subsiding to one to two feet. Similar conditions on Lake Michigan, maybe a stray raindrops, a touch of fog, and then we keep mainly, mainly, mainly cloudy skies uh, with waves one to two feet. So we continue our clearing trend overnight. Kind of cool, especially in the cooler sections north. We hang out in the low 40s there and then we start to see a uh, warming trend as you can see with increasing sunshine. And with that southerly flow developing over the interior west, that'll warm you up into the low 70s. Should be a fairly nice afternoon for you. TV six day forecast. Well, we keep pleasant weather Friday and into Saturday with uh, daytime highs slowly rising by a couple of degrees each day. But with that also comes deeper moisture and that means kind of starting to feel humid and muggy. With all that humidity, we could see some unsettled weather. Showers and thunderstorms continue into the first half of next week. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.